Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Hi, I'm Terry at Holding Your Space, and this is Morning Meditation Tribe. So, hi, everybody. Wow, big crowd here this morning. Sorry, I'm running a couple minutes late. I um, have one of those time change things. It was like, you know, I had like 10 extra minutes, and then all of a sudden I looked, and I was like, oh, my God, it's um, two minutes late. So, hey, Annie Bear. Yeah, the visit with BC was beautiful, wasn't it? She is so filled with love. Yeah, I love that. She, Annie Bear says, I felt the love for hours as I walked in nature with Rosie. Deeply healing. She is all love and light. It was so beautiful to be with her um, last week and then to have her back again today. <clears throat> yeah. That was beautiful. She she just has a beautiful light around her, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, you're going to listen while you walk? Well, good. Have a beautiful walk with Rosie today. Yeah. Um, Teresa says, well, I think we're called to focus on the seeds rather than the weeds. What I mean is all things love, integrating our parts and hope for the fu beautiful future. I love that. That's beautiful, Teresa. Yeah. Right? A beautiful future and um, <clears throat> the seeds rather than the weeds. Yeah. Hey, Richie's Reach. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, Teresa is so wise, isn't she? She's amazing. So, hey, Willow Love. How are you, my dear? I hope everything's going okay. And um, all your angels are continuously around you taking care, care of you. Good morning, beautiful Lada B. Um, <clears throat> hey, Hypnicity. Happy Monday. Speaking of which, um, I don't know why, Hypnicity and, and Juno Sphere, I always get you to, it's like you guys have some sort of energy together or something, Hypnicity. Anyway, but Juno has a beautiful new video out. So really nice. Um, yeah, gosh, it's beautiful out today here. It's going to be, it's going to be kind of foggy, but it's going to be hot. Hey, Fatima, blessings, blessings. <clears throat> Hi, Leah. And this was, um, New Year's for, uh, Nepal and India. So really beautiful day this weekend. I had lots of um, stuff. I'll, I'll post something from the uh, the monastery. Uh, Dawa's back in in Nepal. Uh, he was in he was in India with the Dalai Lama. I can't believe that I know somebody that was with the Dalai Lama. I think that's so cool. Hey, Lori, how are you? Um, yeah. Oh, everyone's bursting from with inspiration from spring. I love that. Yeah, right? Lots of new stuff going on, isn't there? <clears throat> it's really beautiful. Oh, Lottie B, spring is your favorite season. I think it's mine too. Um, we get all the different colors of green that come in and then the little flowers start coming in. And I just love it when everything starts coming up. Oh, Annie Bear's walking in the wet fog. That sounds beautiful. <clears throat> it's probably nice and crisp there, too. Hey, Brenda. Beautiful person. How are you? Imagine with me, shamanic journeys. Yeah, I bet it does smell amazing, doesn't it? <clears throat> Definitely. Definitely. And there's Tyler taking good care of us. Um. Let's see what Lori has to say. If you have been feeling huge energy pushes, this is the reason why. Aaron posts the Schumann Daily. Look at the chart. Um, YouTube.com. Oh, okay. I'm going to star that and I'll I'll put that up later on too. Um, let me see. Star that and we'll put it up later on. Wow, that's great. Grand Rising, Millie, how are you? And I guess um, our friend Hershey moved to Houston. 
So I noticed she put she posted something about it. So that's great. She's gotten there safely. Um, Truth support, I thought about you yesterday with the clothes. One big helping factor for me is to wash using baby deft draft. Softens and smells good. Oh. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, we've been washing lots of sheets and um, you know, we've had people visiting and <clears throat> comforters and everything and then um i always changed my comforter for the summer i remember my my grandma had a, a summer bed room and a winter bedroom and different sheets for each and then actually the summer bedroom also had a sleeping porch so it was lots of fun to go there and stay with her it, it wasn't a huge house but you know all our kids had moved out so i think it was Maybe a three bedroom, four bedroom house, but my uh, my grandpa used one as a study, and then his other one was his bedroom. They had separate bedrooms. <laughs> Grandmother was very sure about that. Good morning, Rossi. How are you doing? Um, Leah, your grandson Theo is eight, and he said Taylor Swift could help us make a cat adoption center. Can you ask her grandma? <laughs> LOL. I thought maybe Terry can reach Taylor. Oh my gosh. I wish I could reach Taylor. I would love to reach her. She's amazing. I have not seen her out and about yet. I've seen Travis Kelsey out and about and Patrick Mahomes. I actually um, had lunch at the same restaurant that Patrick was at years ago, a few years back, maybe three years ago when my brother was in town and, um, you know, I didn't say anything. I just smiled at him when he went by. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Millie says, we've been hit with a ton of moderate solar flares all weekend. It figures, doesn't it? Yeah. I love that, though, that he wants to, he wants to have a cat adoption center, Leah. That's amazing. Good for him, you know. There's the lady. Hello, Wolf Girl. How are you? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> um, you're probably too young to remember uh, this person, but Wolfman Jack. I don't know if you guys remember him or not. Um, he was on, I think it was on Saturday nights. Was Did he do the midnight special? I can't remember, but he would howl at the moon. And I, I we would howl along with him when we listened to him. He was a blast. I love howling. <laughs> Yeah, he was he was really fun. Yeah. Oh. Theo likes to pick up garbage, so we have grabby sticks. That's so sweet. Yeah, that's um I don't know if you guys ever read anything by David Simon. He was uh, Deepak's partner when they started the Chopra Center. And um <clears throat> he had written he was a doctor and he'd written books and um, about health and wellness and whatnot. He died. I think he died. Yeah, he did. He died of a, a glio. The same thing my late husband died from. Anyway, but, um, you know, there's all these different synchronicities, right? And, um, but he, uh, he, he wrote a book about healing the heart and a program. And that was the first thing that I did at the show presenter after my husband died. It was so beautiful, but they said that he was well known for every time he'd go for a walk, either around the Chopper Center, you know, there at the grounds or or anywhere, he would always take a bag with him and pick up garbage. That was his favorite thing to do. <laughs> and I think about him, and sometimes I'll re if I remember, I'll, I'll bring a bag and pick up garbage. But yeah, yeah. Um, Zeppelin's back there on the bed. So if you see something waving around, a, le a leg in the air, that's him. <clears throat> Clap for the Wolfman. He's going to rate your record high. Right, Leah? Yeah. Howling at the moon. Yeah. Wolfman Jack did howl at the moon. Um, oh, Hub wants a feral cat rescue. Not really adoption is most never want to be touched, but sort of forever rescue where they can live forever as a colony with a catio and a house, a catio. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that. Oh, 
Millie had huskies growing up, three of them, lots of howling going on, especially because the firehouse was around the corner. Oh, I bet. Yeah. My um, Tyler will howl at me if I pick him up from the vet. Like if I, sometimes if he needs to get in to see the vet, it's easier just to drop him off. And then they just work him in, you know, and I can email them all the questions I have and they'll answer it when I get there. But, or have it written out. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness. But he, um, he howls when he gets in the car too. <laughs> he, he lets me know his displeasure at being misplaced at the, at the, um, and they're, they're really lovely people, you know, so yay. There's Liz. Good morning, beautiful. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Hmm. Brenda. Guys, this morning I had to get an oil change and had to get there by 7 a.m. I asked the angels to help it go smooth and easy, and they got my car done in 20 minutes. Even the man said it would take one and a half hours. Whoa. All right, angels. Howling at the angels. Oh. Oh, you're going to do a collaboration and do rescues. Leah, I love that. Liz, I hope you're doing well today. So good to see you here today. Hey, Sharon Robinson, how are you? I hope everybody had a great weekend. It was beautiful here. Um, my brother came in to visit with his friend, his partner, and um, they were sweet. They brought their trailer. <laughs> they were down in Arkansas for the eclipse, and then they hung out for a while down there. But, hmm. Willow says, I had a dream. I was being lectured and a lady spoke up and said, Edward, have we not tormented her enough? It is time. Wow. Willow. What do you feel like that was? Do you know someone named Edward? Or, or is there um, an ancestor, somebody in your past named Edward? A family name? It feels like it's some of your guides. And maybe one of them has been um, not sitting heavy with you, but but maybe pushing a little. Yeah. It feels like it's, it's a guide, Willow. Hmm. Interesting. Bring that if you're around, um, Willow, tomorrow night we'll have the dream interpretation show. And I, I'm hoping Carolyn's feeling well enough to be there. She's really good with things like this, but, um, it does feel like a guide or an angel. Um, oh yeah. Constant testing phase. Yeah. You know, sometimes we go through periods of our life like that, right? And you have had a lot going on right now. Yeah. Hey, warrior girl, how you doing? Grand rising. Yeah, well, I would definitely feel like it's, um, and you can tell them, actually, I would, I would make a request um, that I request that the most beneficial outcome and that things give me a break today, give me a break this week. You know, I, I'd like peace and clarity and um, some calmness. Yeah, you have had a lot going on, honey. A lot. Aaliyah, clearly hearing people talk can't make out what they're saying. Yeah, there was a lot going on in my dreams last night, too. There, there's been a lot of downloads. I don't know about you guys, but do you feel like, like I feel like it's raining every night right on my um, crown chakra. <laughs> Just like phew. constant stream of information coming in. Um, Liz, thank you. Thank you. Still needing healing prayers, but believe I will heal both physically and this financial stuff. It is happening. Oh, good. Yeah. Sharon, not remembering your dreams, but I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Well, you're, do you have a new picture, Sharon? That's beautiful. 
Yeah, I got a lot going on. Oh, you got the Blue Jays out back and crows in your backyard <laughs> having an argument. <laughs> They're so funny, aren't they? Yeah. Um, Lori says, Liz in awe. It is my understanding these energies will continue for most of this year. Many energies are DNA upgrade, upgrades for us in Mother Gaia. Yeah. We're catching up with Gaia, aren't we? I mean, in, in the term of, I feel like a lot of her is already fifth and sixth and seventh density. Um, and we're just kind of getting there. Ooh, second dream about mold this time on bread. Mold is growth, isn't it? Um, hmm. And it being um, with substance. But also it could be seeing um, the old stuff, I think. Because um, mold can be a growth that can also be decay, right? Or bacteria. But it's good for us. Um, and it's good to watch things as they crumble. Um, so that could be one form of it, that you're watching a change, perhaps. What do you guys think? So just let us know if that um, that makes any sense, Leah. But watching old stuff fall apart, old constructs, old ways of knowing, modes of knowing, and big changes coming. It could well be. <laughs> Getting that song, Ease On Down the Road. Who was that? I can't remember who was that. Is that Motley Hoople? Um, yeah. Lots of sparkles everywhere out of the eyes and orbs. Yeah. Lots of orbs lately, man. Oh, Annie Bear dreamed she was a large tree and I stretched. I was the sun and bleached wood. Yeah, I was thinking of you when um, when um, <clears throat> BC was on yesterday and she was talking about... Um, reaching down to the earth 150 feet and up above 150 feet. We'll do that in meditation this morning. Um, Lori says, Leah, you are hearing soft female voices. That is what I've been hearing recently. Almost angelic sounding voices, right? Yeah. <laughs> Warrior girl, hello. Hey, Jazz. Nice to see you here. Oh, below you're allergic to mold, Leah, on top of normal mold issues for all. Maybe it's time for a clearing, just a thought. Yeah. Yeah, and mold can be interpreted as so many different things, can't it? That's quite an interesting one. For, for Willow, it would mean something completely different, being allergic to it. Hey, Jane, how you doing? Um, warrior girl, the conjunction this weekend will be off the charts. You know, it's just going to keep getting more and more so, isn't it? Warrior girl, it's like all this energy is coming in this year. It's really amazing. Um, mold on bread is how we discovered penicillin. Yeah, Fogo, right? I was thinking about that too. It's mold is not a bad thing always, is it? I mean, it can be used for a lot of good, especially when we see the old stuff, like the decay. It kind of represents decay as well as um, at change, transformation. Um, yeah, it can mean so many different things. Hey, Fatima. Yeah, the first one was on the ceiling, and I went back to the dream after a bathroom visit. Yeah. Well, I know how that goes. <laughs> and insulin. Oh, Fogo. I did not know that mold was part of uh, insulin, too. It is a consciousness, isn't it, Leah? Everything has consciousness, we're finding out. So mold, of course, would. And mold would be, I mean, really interesting. Both started as bread mold. Wow. I did not know that. Um, 
okay, Sharon, I need money to get out of this situation. So the angels say anything. Energy is great, peeps. Not so good. Um, need new batch. Oh, that speak my language. Oh, I'm watching it crumble and I don't know where to go. Oh, wow, Sharon. We're going to send you lots of love and uh, most beneficial outcome for that, honey. Yeah, I can I can feel it in your heart, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah, I like clean too. I'm it's not always tidy, but it's clean. <laughs> I try to be tidy, but when you live with people, you know. Um, Liz, thank you, thank you. Still need healing prayers, but believing I will heal. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad the financial stuff is is easy enough. Yeah. Okay, this just went through a big uh, jump here. Hypnicity, you had your guides talk, to help you with your taxes. Your printer would not work. I threw up my hands and walked away and said, come on, guides and angels. Later, my tax return was printed and ready to file. <laughs> I love that. I sent mine in um, later th this week, and then they couldn't email. For some reason, the service that I use could not email it into uh, the state, so I have to go. I guess I'm going to have to go get a another printer because my printer's not working. So I thought I'll get that done today. But I can always go back to them and just have them file an extension, too, they said. So... Oh, Teresa, composting. Yeah, composting is a huge thing that we don't really think about, do we? Uh-oh, Nancy Jean's calling. Um, Something about today, I think. Oh, inoculating herself. That is That sounds really good, too, right? Diana Ross. I don't know where that came. Oh, that's who sang that song. God, I love her. Talk about style and class. Diana Ross. Mm. Um, Jane, Mark Atha had a really good pan talk and meditation Monday during the second guest. Jody read it, had a lot of information. I'm going to have to go through that. Oh, honey. 35-year relationship since you were 15. Now you're 52. Sending you lots of love, sweetie. Yeah, that's a big change. And you're still so young. You know, so young. Um, Lori, I have made a note for the 20 and 21 this weekend, Warrior Girl, I wrote very important heart energy days, downloads of wisdom and knowledge for the 20th and the 21st. I'll write that down. And then I want to write down um, Liz and Sharon. And... Um, Okay, and Leah's grandson, I think he's Theo, isn't he? For his cat place. Um, Millie, yesterday we were in the chat discussing, discussing the mushrooms and have that, all that DNA and strands that are activating, activating us. I haven't looked into it further, putting it out there because of the mold. Oh, the mycelium. Excellent. Yeah, how it changes things. And I do feel like um, I like the idea of that. And I like the idea of the um, composting, too, because the composting is a, you know, sometimes we're not ready to get rid of things. Um, sometimes we have old modes of knowing or or maybe something that happened, um, some trauma, right? And we need to put it in the compost bin because we're not ready to put it in the garbage bin yet. We're, we're ready to let it sit for a little bit and watch it maybe there's a new another 
a lesson to be learned there. And perhaps sometimes it's something that you just haven't gotten to the bottom of it and and the pain of it or something, right? The grief of it that um, you're just kind of a little bit attracted to it for some reason. Not that it's it's a healthy attraction always, but but something there still to learn. Something to release, right? And sometimes you just got to say, F it and, and tear it up, but not until you're ready. And everybody's ready at a different time. So I like I like the mold. I'm liking the mold. Ease on down the road, song by Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. Oh, from your musical Oz. I actually never saw it, and I don't know the song really. I saw it. I saw the Oz. I thought it was really good. But I, I like some other stuff that they did together better. Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. But Nan, he's amazing. Oh, honey. Very grateful for everything, even the mess I created. We, we uh, Man, sometimes I do a doozy, honey. And I'm like, God, why do these people still love me? <laughs> because <laughs> I'm like, you know thinking about family sometimes and whatnot and your kids. And I'm like, oh, but they do. And, and everybody still loves you. Like you're not judged by it. Right. We judge ourselves so much more harshly than anybody else around you does, Sharon. So we are all supporting you, honey, whatever's going on. Wow. Leah, you heard two men talking in your bedroom. It was loud, but not understandable. I think they're guides and they're also galactic. And that was a light language. And, um, um, you know, sometimes our guides do that. Like you'll have a really full room of angels and guides and they'll be talking about your next step and, and how you're feeling and things like that. And the best, and they do uh, talk about us. <laughs> it's interesting. You know who's good with that is um, actually uh, Gerald at Tarot Stash at seeing these things. Um, he's He'd be a really good place to have a reading for or about this with. I love that. Okay, it jumped again, so I'm going to go on down to the bottom. Um, let's see, Sharon. Sacrifice career, raise three kids. Now they're on their way and I'm kind of lost. Not sure I, how I can be vibing with control and negativity and no f financial support or humanity here. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, Sharon. Um, I hope, well, first off, off you're not alone. Um, we're all here supporting you. Um spiritually and as friends um i'm hoping that um if there's some sort of a, a free law or something service there around you that you can go to for help hmm. yeah um, I can't remember, legal aid, legal aid, that's what I was thinking of, legal aid. Sorry, my brain is really foggy this morning, you guys. You've not had a trip in over 30 years, Leah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yesterday you introduced the concept of FGO to my online sewing. Very useful. Right, bright, bright, shiny ray? It is very useful, Yeah. The FGOs, effing growth opportunities. Um, I've got another one, and I, um, you know, you're not supposed to really curse on um, YouTube, but um, it's um, um, sometimes you need to sit, sit in your shite um, before you smell it, <laughs> and, and it's kind of like um, sometimes you don't realize what you've been sitting in, right? And then all of a sudden it'll start to smell, it'll start to stink. And you're like, well, I've been sitting in this for long enough. I'm ready to go now. So 
and and that's part of the composting, isn't it? Too. Yeah, definitely a trans transmutation and rebirth. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Millie, that's beautiful. Yeah. Sharon, you're going to get the help you need. I would love to help direct the energy and people you need. And people you need. What state are you in? Yeah, what state are you in? Sharon. Sharon, are you in Missouri? You're looking into some great options. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm so grateful that I already had a great family here, and that is a great start, but I felt I needed to let you all know who I am. Well, Sharon, number one, we are all honored, honey. So honored that you shared this with us. I mean, you just say that for everybody here. And and then I also want to say that <clears throat> that's a gift that we can give to others to let them say that and let people know what we're going through because it is an honor. You do honor us because healing sometimes is crying and healing sometimes is, it makes me cry. And healing sometimes is uh, also sharing and just letting it out. But I, I will tell you one thing. Um, it won't change the way we feel about you. You won't be judged at all. But we will come in closer around you to, and help you. You know, that's that's what we do. So we will be holding space for you, my darling. Yeah. You found some great options. Yeah. So sorry to hear this, Wolf Girl says. Doing heavy things on your own is hard. It is. Sometimes we don't know, like, um, right? It, it makes me tear up. Um, like when my husband was dying, there was a lot going on. And um, um, we were separated because we had to be because he was acting out. He had brain cancer. And um, I had to separate him from the business and the kids and take things over. I don't know how I did it, but I think, Sharon, um, it sounds like you're in that space where you're just putting one foot in front of the other and let your tell your guides to guide you because it feels like you're doing that. You're just kind of um, stepping into the right place, one foot after the other um, in the flow. Yeah. Um, Liz says... Um, Really unexpected, weird challenges coming in. Guessing there are opportunities for me to spiritually evolve and practice higher levels of surrender and trust. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Just FYI, we're in the USA. You can dial um, 211. They will have all sorts of information on local help centers, all types of help. Yeah. I love this. Leah's, Leah's offering to help. Um, you're going to get the help you need. I would love to help direct energy and people to you. What state are you in? So I'm probably, this thing is jumping on me today. So, yeah. <laughs> ah. Come go on a fishing trip and pedal bike for food stamps. Yeah. Oh, Millie, segment energy has been strong around Rossi. Look into her. Whoa, really? I love segment. Love, love, love segment. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. And Liz is in a very similar situation. Sharon's in Cincinnati. Okay. Yeah, we are strong. Right, Sharon? You are so strong. Remember that it will get easier and clearer by the end of the year, says Ben. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, 
This is so beautiful. Um, Samantha says, I've been feeling a lot of fear lately, just reminding myself to surrender to love. Right? Mm -hmm. Once you open up your heart, it, it really does make a huge difference, doesn't it? My wolf girl, have a great day with your mom, dear. Lots of love. Mwah. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll get started meditating, you guys, and go in and have the angels give blessings to everybody. So, um, and Samantha, you're in there too. Um, it's easy to feel that fear, isn't it? Because things are changing rapidly. And even though we know that they're changing rapidly and we're riding that wave, um, it's still a lot. It's still a lot to go through. Oh, Leah, that's beautiful. Um, Liz and Leah and all, thank you so much. Honor and respect, loves. I can't say enough. Yeah, we're here for you, honey. We are like on a roller coaster, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Angels in our paths, please and thank you. Yeah. Okay, everybody. We'll get started now. Um, let's go ahead and take three deep breaths, breathing in through the nostrils. Letting go through the mouth. The next breath, breathe in all the way up to your throat chakra. Letting go all the way down to your root chakra. Give it a push. Releasing anything that's stuck down here in your sacrum or your root chakra. Fight or flight, fear, grief, pain, darkness, shadows. Now breathing in again. All the way up to your crown chakra and releasing all the way down to your toes. Now let your body rock you. Just imagine <laughs> you're sitting in a rocking chair. You might be in somebody's lap, being held like a child. Someone that loves us. Someone that holds space for us. And they just hold you. Giving you peace. And allow your heart to open up with that. To accept it. Just being held. Being cared for. Giving yourself the joy and the surrender to know that we're all here together, walking in our light, doing the best we can. Now let's pull up into our high heart. <laughs> Just feel what we feel here. It's the space between your heart chakra and your throat chakra, your high heart, feeling that light, peace, understanding, equanimity, compassion, and abide here. Is there something that's happened this week that you've held in here? And just allow that person that's rocking you, and it can be you, <laughs> an older version of yourself taking care of a younger version of yourself, it can also be an angel or a grandparent. Just feel the peace, the harmony. Now, let's go up 150 feet into your high self. 
golden light. Feeling that Christ consciousness. <laughs> Just a little Christ Buddha consciousness this morning. Golden light. Let's go up there and feel the safety of it. The peace and the love, the understanding. And bring that back in. Calling that into your high heart. Feel the difference. The joy. <laughs> high heart energy always brings in joy and wonder. People think it's, I think when I was younger, I thought that it was kind of scary. But now I'm like, it's like a little kid, right? That joy and wonder. Now let's go in 150 feet below our feet. And the golden light here. Just abide in it. Mother, Mother Earth, Gaia. Her beautiful light. Feeling the depths of her love, her abundance, her fertility. <laughs> Maybe seeing the composting here. And bring that light back up into your heart space. Noticing the combination, as we do so, between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Now we'll call in 33 trillion angels. <laughs> and George from BC. Filling their light around us. This weekend I did a reading and um, it was someone going to another celebration of life for their sham shaman. And I could see all our angels and our shamans um, on kind of like a funeral party with jazz and blues playing, walking down a street, shaking drums, <laughs> maybe shaking some Incense, like in Catholicism and Buddhism. Also crystals. So just knowing we're on our path. We have our shamans, we have our angels with us, joining us. And feel their light as they come in. Crystalline energy. Abundance. But also joy and laughter again. Sometimes tears are okay. But noticing there's a brevity they're saying to being on the path. You can see the light where others can't. Even seeing the light in the mold. Ah, uh, speaking of mentors, <laughs> John Benny. So let's go ahead and increase this light, filling it all around you, bringing in our ancestors, beautiful love, noticing that person that's holding you, rocking you, might be an ancestor and a guide, feeling the depth of their love, noticing that they want us to do well. They might be in your room talking at night. What can we do to help? And they're saying, please give us jobs. So recognizing that they're here to help all of us, Liz and on, Sharon and, and everyone here. Otto. Now bringing in the elementals and the fae. Filling their light as they come in. The energy around them. The fairy dust. The laughter. Also bringing in the beautiful trees 
And noticing that as we're on this path, with all our mentors and our guides, our ancestors, the trees, the dragons, the jaguars, all around us, walking with us. And today we'll go ahead and form our circle. Imagine holding the hand of the person on your right, giving it a squeeze, and seeing that squeeze of light and energy as it progresses around our circle. All around the planet, the light grows. And behind us, the 33 trillion angels put their hand behind our hand, increasing that light. And just feel it, abide in it for a minute in your heart space. What it feels like. <laughs> have so many angels, so many guides, and just let go for a minute here. Release. So, um, they're talking about our shoulders today, how much we carry, talking about the center of your back today. Your wings, acknowledging the beauty of your light and your strength. But they're saying, let us hold you for this. So breathing in their light, their love, their compassion. And as you exhale, Acknowledging you're just one of the angel lights and bathe in that stardust, angelic light. Now acknowledging all the orbs around you, other light beings. Not all, not all of them are in the physical. at this time. Completely protected. And we'll go ahead and form a little ritual here. Noticing in the center, a large bucket <laughs> of our circle. And this bucket is things that we can let go of today. Next to that bucket, there's another bucket. And it's filled with the compost bin. What are we still working on in our heart? Is there something there that you can let go of and put in the old bucket? Is there something there that you want to work on a little bit longer? Maybe it tears at your heart a bit or has another lesson to give us. Enlightenment. So whichever bucket you use, it's okay. And just let things out. Like you're throwing out balls of light. And you can use your hands on your heart space pulling out old things, tossing them in the bucket, or you can imagine it. Just see yourself releasing. Maybe those balls of light escape into stardust. <laughs> and the sirens come on. Old things old traumas, tossing them in the bucket, seeing them explode, poof, 
than other ones, perhaps. You don't have to use the compost bin. But if there's something there that needs to change, that you're still working on, just allowing yourself. Sometimes all you need is that assurance that um, you can have that option. Now, noticing in your heart space, inside your golden orb of light, what's the difference? How do you feel differently? Letting go. And let's go ahead and put a lot of light here today around Sharon Robinson. Beautiful Sharon. Also, put some light around Liz. Liz in awe. And Theo. <laughs> Leah's grandson. Now, anybody that wants light, they're acknowledging through your crown chakra, beautiful golden light coming in. I'm breathing that in as you exhale. See your orb vibrating at a pure white light with golden energy around it. Now, coming back to your circle. Still held by your angels, your guides, feeling their light, acknowledging the world, one big globe, one big orb of Gaia. Maybe we're the mycelium <laughs> helping her. Feeling her love. And go ahead and um, pat her on the back like a child, patting the mother, maybe through the back of the high heart today. Giving her love and peace, understanding, like we would as angel. And notice when you give an entity like this love, like a child would, how it expands the love that they give us and our powers, our energies, <laughs> our light. So, coming back. Noticing any cats that need to find their homes. Coming back to the circle. Being aware of being back in your room. Maybe still rocking a little. Being held. Starting to feel your feet and your fingers. Pulling your energy back in. 150 feet above you, 150 feet below you. Zip that energy in from your root chakra to your crown chakra. Pulling in your light like you can. <laughs> Noticing how bright your high heart is today. Starting to feel your fingers, your toes, your shoulders. Still being held and noticing on our journey today, 
when you're walking or just doing anything you're going to do, you have that trail, that parade of angels and shamans and teachers taking us with us, cheering us on, helping us with synchronicities. Noticing your fingers and your toes, your root chakra to your crown chakra. Maybe feeling your shoulders, lightness of being. Bring your hands to your heart space. Breathing in love, light, compassion, equanimity. Lightness of being. And as you let go, completely back in the physical. If you need to, you can rub your hands a little and push down on your thighs. There we go. (laughs) Ah, ethnicity, holding your amethyst. I love that. Oh, yeah, ethnicity. Tango has to come home. I hope he comes home soon. So, oh, yeah. Sharon Donnelly, how are you, honey? And John Benny, it's so nice to see you here, my friend. So, um, everybody knows John, I think. He's um, been on the channel a few times. He's going to be on again on Mother's Day. And, um, but he has amazing classes right now. So, and meditations, beautiful meditations. So, that's so funny, John. You came in right at the same time that we were talking about this um, group of shamans and mentors and teachers on kind of like, a, like a, almost like a, a parade in New Orleans, you know? A magic carpet. Ooh, Leah. That's the perfect way to put that. Yeah. Oh, Carl, you showed your reading to your Canadian friends and he finds your voice attractive. Well, thank you, Carl. (laughs) I'll take that. Yeah. Everybody have a beautiful day, right? Yeah, you have to go back to work, Lottie. All right. Have a great day, dear. Ah, thanks, Carl. Yeah. Please have him come in. Oh, thanks, Rossi. So this is um, where you can reach John at his, um, he has a website and he has um, also on YouTube. So easy to reach and really amazing, amazing journeys with him. So. Oh, honey, I'm so glad that you were here. Thank you for being here. It was a joy and an honor. Yeah. Oh, Bright Shining Ray, you let go of your judgment. <laughs> um, oh, oh, I see what you said. Yeah, I'm not taking it. It's creepy at all. Yeah, I think it's funny. Funny, funny. Yeah, everybody's just being protective. Um, Oh, judge the voice. Yeah. Today, the voice is hoarse. Oh, man. It's it's another day. Yeah. Have a blessed day and week, everybody. Sending lots of love and light. Namaste. Yeah. Oh, thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. It's Terry's energy. He's younger, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Um, That's a great start to any day. Yay. All right, everybody. Bye, warrior girl. Yeah, opened up our high heart, right? Our pink heart. We needed that. I did. So everybody have a beautiful day. Um, Today I'll be on with, well, I have to call her back, um, Nancy Jean's garden. Nancy Jean uh, called me, so I need to call her back. I hope we're going to be on 1 o'clock today. Um, 
<laughs> All right, beautiful people. Have a great day. And we will see you tomorrow morning, I hope, and maybe even this afternoon in Nancy Jane's Garden. Bye-bye. <laughs>